Hi, my name is Adnan Hadi. I'm a freelancer and student in mechanical engineering. Now, in this exclusive tutorial for AE Tots, we will create an entire scene in After Effects. First, we'll create a 3D room, then lighten the scene, set up material options, animate a camera, and last but not least, take a look at depth of field. Now, with this being said, let's jump in and get started. Alright, so welcome to this first part of my tutorial. Now, uh, in this one, we will create um, the entire 3D room. And um, so you could say this is the modeling part. Now, um, as you can see, I've already created um, a folder called footage. Now, here are all my images. And most of them are from 3D Total. Nevertheless, you can certainly use your own textures as well. So let's create a new composition and we'll make it 1280 by 720 and 25 frames per second and the animation will last 30 seconds. Alright, so um, I have already created a plan. Drive that down, double click on that and switch to the big screen preset. And uh, let's see. Now, as you can see, um, this is the room, this is the, um, the top view. Now, in the middle, there's a carpet. Here, um, this guy, little guy, illustrates um, the samurai armor. Here's a door, here are doors, and here is the window. Now, the camera zooms in, so it um, moves through the, um, through the window and um, films the room. And this door here, we'll animate it so that um, the uh, sun rays shine into the room. So, look pretty decent. Okay, so um, let's make that a 3D layer. And take the rotation tool, click W, and let's rotate that around. And make sure to click Shift so that it ro rotates that around 90 degrees. Bring it down. Now we can't zoom or orbit in this active camera mode, so we have to switch to the custom view. And by the way, I will use um, this first unified camera tool because um, this uh, basically includes all these. Okay, so um, left click, you can orbit, right click, zoom in, and middle click track okay so that's our plan so let's bring that maybe make it even a little bit tighter okay and now I will create um, the ground and I have a wood ground texture bring it to the comp and make it 3d rotate that around okay Bring that down like so and adjust the scale. So I think that looks pretty good. Alright. So now let's create um, the walls. So layer, new, solid. And let's make that gray. 3D layer and rotate that around push that to the side to the right side uh, to the left side and scale it up and so C for the camera tool hit C um, move that up and now we'll duplicate it so control D and bring that to the other side Let's see. All right, so that looks great. Um, next, we'll um, create a new layer, solid. So for the top, make that a little darker so that it's obvious, and make it a 3D layer as well. Rotate that around and bring that up. 
and by the way you can always switch so on uh, the shortcuts the selection tool V rotation to W and camera C alright so let's bring that up like so and scale that up there you go okay so very basic stuff but as you can see a room okay um, now let's create the doors on the side and, uh, and again I have some great textures for those these two and I would drag them to the comp to the comp and make them 3d as well and scale them down and rotate them around bring them to the wall okay and zoom in there so that you can see what's going on and bring that bring them up scale them up and let's see all right now let's take um this door and drag it to the oh maybe the other door I want the other to be dragged to this side mm, okay so um the door has not to be matched exactly or aligned exactly to the wall because the camera won't even um, film that little gap okay so that looks pretty good so far so good now I would like to bring out this and make it 3d as well so as you can see it is always the same so the same process bring layer make it 3d and let's turn that off so that we can see going on now, um, and this one and let's name them so that it's organized this so this is the top wall and this is the left wall and that's the right wall all right um so now let's select this guy here and bring that down and let's scale it up so I guess maybe a little bit down and maybe scale the door out and move them up just a little bit okay now simply duplicate that one and bring it to the other side and turn on the top wall and the right wall let's drag that here okay so very nice
Now let's create the door over here. So I will drag out these here, make them 3D. And obviously we have to scale them up. Not that much. And bring it down. Move that to this side. back okay and duplicate that one bring that to the other side like so and now I would like to create a door in the center so duplicate that one again and bring that here and even back behind those two like so later on we will animate the door so it will open like that Okay, and maybe we can even scale those out, and this one, bring that here like so, and scale this down. Okay, so the door will open like that, and the lights, the light, um, the sun will shine through the room. Okay. And we can always adjust those. Okay, so um, now let's bring out a carpet. Here it is, make it 3D. Rotate that around. And scale. Scale that down. Like so. Let's see. Let's position it quite pretty much over the ground like so and um, all right so that's looking pretty good okay now I would like to um, create two columns one here and one here so I would say wooden columns Let's create a new solid and pick with the color from here and make it maybe a little brighter. Make it a 3D layer. And let me drink something. I mean, I'm thirsty. Okay, um, scale it down. And let's see. <coughs> Bring that up like so. And scale it down, I guess, like that. Okay, so if the camera zooms in, look like that. We could probably bring those, this column more in this position. I guess that's looking better. And now let's switch to the top view because we have to add a Z depth. Okay, so let's switch to the top view. And let's see. Um, all right. Duplicate this one. And rotate that around. Or rotation. Hit R for the rotation. And type in 90 degrees. And now just pos position that one. And let's align that. Like so. So, okay, so maybe more 
and that's looking pretty good. So that's that's the change of the custom view. Let's check that out. Okay, as you can see, there is a little gap between those two solids, so we probably have to move it more in that direction, maybe like so. So that's great. So our first column is done. Now let's um, do the same on the right side. Duplicate that one and bring it to this side. Duplicate the other. Um, let's see, where is it? Yes. And let's move that here. Okay, and now probably we have to align that again. So I guess on the ground this. Okay. I guess more in the in the axes like that. Okay, right, perfect. Almost perfect. Let's um, bring that down. No, that's looking good. Okay, let's check the other side. And um, so you can see it's not perfectly matched here, but um, the camera won't detect that, I guess. I assume. No, I know. <laughs> I know it. Okay, so let's drag or move the camera up to align. that as well bring it down that was too much obviously let's see i think that's too much right too much right perfect now we have our two columns on the right and on the left side so as you can see the room gets a look okay and maybe we have to move those more in the middle I guess like that and move the carpet as well like so. Okay. Um, next, I want to drag um, drag out the samurai armor here in front of the door, and I've already masked out this guy here. Make him three D. And let's see. Let's scale them down. And probably we want to compare the height with the door so we can keep proportions correctly. Uh, but I guess in digital art you often have to cheat um, because it simply looks better if this guy is bigger not too big but maybe bigger than it would um, be realistic move him to the center 
Then move him back. Oops. I guess here. Let's check the Y position. <clears throat> okay. I guess that's looking pretty good. Okay, and uh, let's duplicate that one because the armor obviously can't fly. It's no ghost, it's only metal. So let's duplicate that and bring it back. And align it to the armor. Scale it down. And there you go. Alright, now the columns um, certainly look too flat, so let's add an effect called um, Fractal Noise. And let's add that to this and to this, to that little guy, and to the side. So again, to this here, and here, okay? And no, not noise. We added the wrong effect to the side um, solid. So where is it? Add, gr add grain. Add grain. No, where is that now? Hmm. Let me see. Where are you? Noise and grain. Fractal noise. Yes, that's it. Fractal noise. Okay, copy that one. And select this. And paste it by con uh, by control V, clicking control V. Okay, and now let's put that to multiply. Multiply. And the same for those. Okay. And let's make it a little lighter. So let's bring up the brightness. Okay. And contrast. Like so. Let's copy that. Select the others. Delete this one. Paste. Multiply. And maybe the brightness. Like so. Go to the other side. Do the same here. And for the left side as well. Okay, so now it looks like wood. You'll probably have to lighten that up. Let's see what is 35. Let's add that 35, 34, and 189. Okay. Looks pretty good. And now, um, what would be a Japanese room without paintings? Uh, so let's bring out some paintings. And I have two funny looking guys, Sota and Su, they're called. And I think those are, you know, Damon 
creatures, something like that, from Japanese myths. Okay, let's scale those guys down and move them back. Like so. Let's scale them up a little more. And like that. And move one to this side. Select, let's see which one is. And let's take that one, bring that to the other side. So like that. And, you know, to give it more Japanese um, feeling to it or look okay so I guess we are finished with the room so very basic stuff as you can see but very efficient um, now as I bring back the plan our plan you can see that um, here we want to create a wall as well and a window so um, let's create this wall in front of the room by bringing out a concrete texture okay make it 3d bring that out okay scale it down like so Okay, now I want to bring out the window texture. Here we go. Make it 3D as well. And that's probably too big, so scale that down. And bring that more in front. Like so and scale it even more like so okay so now we have to um, mask out a rectangle in this concrete texture so that we can see the window probably and um, let's switch to the front view here you go. Let's make some room here. Let's make some space. And take the rectangle tool. Make sure to hit the concrete texture. And now mask out a rectangle. And switch it to subtract okay so there we go let's switch back to custom view and now we can simply um, push that in front and what I want to do is I want to create depth so that it looks more interesting more 3d Okay, so but first, I guess let's close these here because we won't need them now. So let's focus on this wall. Shut those down. Now we want to um, duplicate the wall the concrete texture duplicate control D and delete the mask and move that to the right duplicate that again and move that to the left and duplicate that again move that down and again Move that here, and once more, bring that here, 
and now select all these three duplicate those and push them all the way up and maybe we can um, hit S and click minus so that looks more um, doesn't look that tiley and move that here like so I guess you know like so bring that maybe a little bit up and so here we have our front wall but we're not finished yet so let's um, duplicate the wall again let's see where it is bring this up and delete the mask rotate that around and now it's all a question of aligning it correctly so bring that down like so and so and duplicate that one and bring that up And duplicate that again and <laughs> what am I doing I don't want to surf in the internet um, hit okay now I get upset let's choose that one no I'm not getting upset I'm just kidding um, let's bring that here and we will probably have to rotate that again around the z-axis so that it um, matches the texture And I will show you why. So you can see here, it matches the texture pretty good here and here. All right, that's looking pretty good. I duplicate that one bring that to the other side let's check this one out looks pretty good all right and last but not least duplicate um, this concrete texture below bring that up Okay, so that, that looks pretty good. And we have created our wall here. Now the next step would be to um, um, this window here. Let's name that window. As you can see, it's one single um, image, but we have to divide it into separate so that we can um, control each one um, duplicate that um, not duplicate uh, double click 
and choose the rectangle tool and draw a mask around the left part duplicate that again and now simply move the mask to this side and let's see whether we have moved this mask probably and we have to move that again to the other, to the other side now let's check this out now I don't have I did a mistake here so bring that back okay so now you have one on the right side and one on the left side okay so name them this is the left window 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 and this is the right window okay now we have to move the pivot point and bring it um, to this point here so that if we rotate this window it rotates around the axis positioned in this position okay so let's uh, switch the top view let's find our here it is zoom in okay so that is our left and that's our right window so let's um, select the left window and select the pan behind tool and move that guy to this point here that's looking pretty good okay let's check that out as you can see it's the left window okay and the same for the right window so top again move the pivot to this position right here and switch to the custom view and now we shall be able to move or to rotate that like this okay so that will be a simple animation and that as well like that okay great so make that switch that to zero and let's um, select all of the room all of the scene now okay let's get a look at it maybe we shall turn off the window that, so that we can look through the window now here is the camera and the camera will actually zoom in into the room now we have to bring that wall back because it's obviously too near so um, <clears throat> select all wall scene and bring it back and even more and even more more and a little bit more okay now let's um, check this out so the camera moves in and you can see the room now we have to um, scale up the ground the wood texture it's not no problem so 
um, scale that up. Bring it down. And now let's see. So it zooms inside. Zooms inside like that. And whoosh, we see the room. Okay. So, as far as good, um, what else can we do? Now, we could um, perhaps duplicate those. Well, let's do select. And bring them here. Maybe so to give the room more volume, I guess. So like that. And let's um, move the wall. here and best thing is to switch on the title action safe so that we can see where the center is let's move that to here so that is obviously our center And now let's move the wall right so like this and now it shall match up the scene perfectly this side and bring it more to this side like so and move it down that and then our camera will basically zoom in the room and for the beginning let's delete those here because I think they don't do a good job so let's find this end deleted okay and let's scale that up a little bit the top wall like so all right so um, this was the first part the um, so-called modeling part so we created an entire 3d room within uh, after effects and um, we brought some textures we um, created this cool looking Japanese room and in the second part we will um, create a camera animate a camera um, play around with the options and um, animate the door animate uh, the window and of course lighten the scene um, set up material options and last but not least um, make use of depth of field so um, Hopefully see you in the next part.